Hey guys, so Wet n Wild has reformulated their Silk Finish lipsticks. And if you're not familiar with that line of lipsticks, those are the ones that are 99 cents. And I've got three of them to show you today. One of them I have on my lips. And if you're familiar with the way this line used to be, the formula was not so great on them. I did a video, oh geez, I don't know, maybe a year ago or something like that, where I showed how you could use one by using it as a layering product over something else and how you could achieve a really pretty look doing that. But really that's all it was before was a layering lipstick. But they've reformulated the line, they've changed the formula, they've changed the packaging, one thing they have not changed is the price. They are still 99 cents. So I went on the hunt for them and I found them at a CVS. Not all CVS's carry Wet n Wild, but I'm sure you know which ones do near you. And so it just so happens that right now Wet n Wild products are buy to get one free at CVS. I don't know how long this is going on but they were when I was there when I purchased these a couple of days ago. So some of the colors remain but the formula and packaging has changed plus they have some new colors and then some colors got discontinued. So you may see some familiar names if you're if you're familiar with this line you may see some of the same colors and names but I was immediately drawn to this one that I have on is called Will You Be With Me and it's 503C and my eyes zoomed right into this one. Actually let me show you the new packaging because it's kind of cute. It has a clear plastic lid so that you can actually see the lipstick in there it's completely sealed when you buy it, so you don't have to worry about, you know, did someone open it, did someone swatch it. It's going to be completely sealed in plastic, and but that's okay because you'll be able to clearly see the product. I wish all companies would do this because it would make it so much nicer. But anyways, the plastic comes down further on one side and curves than it does on the other. So when you put the cap on, it will only fit that one way. It's, it's kind of cute packaging, but it's very cheap, flimsy packaging, but the lipstick is 99 cents, so what do you want? <laughs> what do you want for 99 cents? <laughs> um, but yeah, you, you're gonna have to be careful with these because I'm pretty careful when I handle my makeup, but I already have a scratch in one of the covers because I must have, you know, set it down too hard or set it down up against something. So you might want to keep that in mind when you store these that you don't want to just throw them in a drawer where they're going to be all jumbled around and bashing up against each other. Nancy? <laughs> That's an inside joke. My friend Nancy has all her lipsticks jumbled together in a big drawer. But anyways, um, so let me show these to you. So like I said, this one this one is called Will You Be With Me? It's what I'm wearing on my lips. It's just a beautiful shade of pink. And even though I'm wearing it, I'm going to swatch it for you. And these lipsticks do come in lots of different finishes. So if you have a preference, you might want to keep that in mind. And you can see just well enough, I think, through the cover that you can kind of tell what the finish is. It would be so nice, though, if they had said, like, what finish it was. Or even if they put, like, um, you know how on Wet n Wild each lipstick has a number. So if they had put a, sort of a designation... You know what I mean? Like this is 503C, so does the C mean anything to Wet n Wild? Is that is that a clue to what type of color this is? I don't know. Maybe C stands for cream? I'm not sure. Only Wet n Wild knows for sure. <laughs> but that's that shade anyway. And then the other one that I picked out is called A Short Affair, and this is 501C. 
I really like this one too. This is a lighter shade of pink. And this one is a little bit on the frosty side, but I did wear it and it looks looks okay on. I like the other one better. And um, I think this one might be new also. And then for my third one, because they will buy two, get one free, so of course I picked out three. For my third one, I decided to go a little crazy. This is 533D Cashmere. Now, Cashmere was in their line before, I believe, but I didn't have this. And this is a crazy, frosty, metallic, not frosty, I'm going to say metallic, brown shade and a lot of the makeup companies are doing these crazy finishes and colors now and you know they're fun but they're not something that you're really going to wear that much but what better way to do a crazy impractical color than to buy one of these for 99 cents because if you're not going to wear it that much then would you really want to pay a ton of money for something that you know you're not going to wear that much so I thought great so this is cashmere and it's a metallic plummy brown I'm gonna say so you can't miss it I don't even have to really point out which one it is so those are the three that I got but they have a ton more colors and they have them in a cardboard display in the area where they normally display new releases at CVS which at the one that I go to is sort of all over the place it just depends on the store some have them in one special spot but some CVS's have them just scattered everywhere that they have some extra shelving there are some more new products that they reformulated they reformulated the color icon eyeliners and now they call them coal crayon I liked the color icon eyeliners just the way they were I thought they were very nice and I used to use those all the time until I discovered those Maybelline Kajal cream coal eyeliners that I'm always talking about but I love the wet n wild color icon eyeliners so I guess those are no more and now they've got these coal eyeliners so I looked at the line because I didn't want to buy anything exactly what I already had and I looked to see if they had anything new and I found this it's called calling your buff and it's 607 a and I thought this might be oh and the the, the wet and wild eyeliners are whoa the wet and wild eyeliners are enormous by the way they're like much larger than a normal size eyeliner and these are also 99 cents so you're really getting a good deal there but I thought this might be a good shade for the waterline because sometimes if you put white on the waterline to make your eyes bigger and brighter it just looks too crazy but then these types of shades can sometimes be um, the nude ones can sometimes look a little crazy so this was called calling your buff and I decided to give it a shot I figured for 99 cents it was worth trying so it's a very yellowy nude which uh, doesn't it looks okay on me I did try it already <clears throat> It looks okay, but it would probably be a lot better on somebody with warm toned skin. And the formula, I think, is it's a little sticky. It's not creamy. It doesn't it doesn't cake up or anything, but it could be a little better. It's not horrible. It's not wonderful. It falls somewhere in between. But because it is sticky, it lasts and doesn't come off. So. Um, you know it works for that but yeah it's very very yellowy for a nude shade it's not a pinky nude it's a yellowy nude but yet when I put it on I thought it looked okay I didn't I didn't want to put it on today because my eye look is you know silver gray black so this would look kind of bad with that so I didn't put it on today but I just wanted to mention you know if you have uh, warm toned skin 
this would probably be awesome for you for your waterline. And then they also formulated their nail polishes, the Wild Shine line. And now they come in these really cute bottles. And at first I thought, wow, that's huge. That's got to be more product than the other original line. But it's, it's not. It's just sort of uh, deceiving the way the bottle is. It makes it look like there's a huge amount of product in there. But it's, it's not more product. It's just a different design. So apparently they've also reformulated this. And I haven't had a chance to try this yet because I... Been, I, I just tried something else new uh, recently, but what I did do was I swatched it on a nail wheel because you can tell a lot about a polish by swatching it on a nail wheel. And um, by the way, if you're wondering where I get these from, you can get a big package of these at Sally's for just a few dollars, and they're really handy to have. Um, I think they only sell the one brand, which is Sally's brand, which is Beauty Secrets, I believe. But anyway, this is the Wet n Wild Polish Swatched, and that's one coat. So it was fully opaque at one coat, and the one I got is called Who is Ultraviolet? And uh, seems to be a really nice formula. I mean, I really won't know for sure until I use it on my nails but it's pretty much an average size brush but it seems to be a very creamy opaque formula and if I didn't already have a million nail polishes I probably would have gotten a bunch of these because it comes in lots of really nice colors and I believe they had different finishes. This one that I bought is a cream finish, but I think they had different finishes. But there's quite a few to pick from. So Wet n Wild is doing it again, you know, with their affordable products. Uh, uh, you know, I give them credit for reformulating all these lines. I'm not sure about this, this pencil, though. I think they developed the formula to make it long-lasting so that it wouldn't come off your waterline. But, um... It's kind of a sticky consistency, so I don't know. But that could that could be, you know, to make it long lasting. Um, but yeah, these lipsticks, I mean, two buy two get one free, ninety nine cents a piece. Less than two dollars for three lipsticks. Come on, that's a no brainer. These are they the best lipstick formula in the world? No. Are they an improvement upon the old formula? Yes. And that that darker pink one that I got, will you will you be with me? Is that the one? Yeah, that's that's a good one. If you like pink lipsticks, I think you would really like that. The lighter one that I got, eh, it's a little bit a little bit frosty, so don't like that as much, but it's still wearable. And then the cashmere is just one of those fun, fun colors. So new products from Wet n Wild, check them out. They're at CVS right now. And uh, you can't go wrong with these prices, people. I mean, you're not going to do any better than that for brand new eyeliners, lipsticks, nail polishes at those prices. They're good products. So that is it for today, you guys. I hope I didn't forget anything. If you have any questions about anything, Please feel free to leave them, leave your questions in the comment section, and I'll see you next time. Bye.